This is my pathetic attempt to troll a Twitter account with over 14 million followers. Uberfax, the home of, well, Uberfax, I guess. Kinda does exactly what it says on the tin. Although I don't think I've ever seen a fact about a taxi app. But have you ever seen one of these tweets and just thought, fuck off, mate. In the UK, it's illegal to be drunk in a pub. As a Brit, who has spent a large amount of time in several pubs, I can categorically state this is utter shit. Don't get me wrong, we do have some old and outdated laws, but that's like it being illegal to piss in a urinal. You're going to a restaurant tonight? Be careful, it's illegal to eat food there. Basically, if this was true, our streets would be dead, and our prison population would be, well, well higher than our actual population. So late last year, Uberfax tweeted this. Want to submit a fact? Post your fact on Twitter using hashtag Uberfax, and you could be featured. This gave me an idea. How funny would it be if I can submit a fake fact and get them to tweet it out? And if there's one thing that I'm good at, it's making up bullshit. But look at my account. <coughs> Doesn't exactly scream reliability. But if I was going to pull this off, I was going to need a team. A team of world-class individuals. But unfortunately, Nico Amalano ignored my messages. So these lot would just have to do. And just like any kind of superhero team, we were going to need a name. So let's call them... Jay's Angels. Yeah, I think that'll do. Completely original too. James Ash, the tech guy, vlogger, smart price Alfie days. The sort of brand friendly content that just breeds reliability. If only they knew the darkness that lay behind his eyes. Mashup Matt, journalistic, well educated, even if he is from Swansea. He went to a university, the posh bastard. Every team needs a mat. He's the sort of guy that would die first in a horror film. And on the off chance we get into that kind of situation, I need someone who could potentially take a bullet. Bad Company Sarge. He looks homeless, but he's not. He's the only person who bought Fallout 76. And if I'm honest, he's just here to make up the numbers. And he's got some pretty big numbers next to his name. Every team needs a fourth. JTTV. The brains of the organisation. Stylish, hilarious, extremely humble. <laughs> oh, extremely humble. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like for more humble content. <laughs> so the premise was pretty simple. I made up a bunch of random facts and just needed them to tweet them out. If everyone were to become vegan, cows would outnumber us 50 to 1 in 100 years. Gotta poke fun at the vegans, Soz. But this is the kind of bullshit that Uber facts would tweet out and you go, yeah, okay, that sounds about right. India has a pretty big cow population. Fun fact, originally that was supposed to be chickens instead of cows, but apparently chickens already outnumber us, so that would have been stupid. There are 19 billion chickens on this planet. Prevent the invasion. Fry a chicken. Hashtag spawn. I get 50% off your bargain bucket when you use coupon code Jay's a legend at checkout. People who work in retail are more likely to become serial killers at some point in their lives. This one's actually true. Have you seen the bloke behind the counter at Argos? Great white sharks have the smallest penis size of any other shark. It's funny because big fish has little winky. Do sharks even have dicks? Technically, male sharks don't have penises. What they do have are grooved organs that are used to deposit sperm into the genital duct of sexually receptive female sharks. Grooved. For your pleasure. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a penis to me, but I'm the kind of guy to call a spade a spade, so... According to surveys, 52% of Apple employees use an Android phone. I think that's believable. Mainly because the majority of Apple's employees are Chinese children. They just can't afford to be dropping a grand on a phone for fuck's sake. Apple, you need to pay your employees more than 65 pence a day, you stingy bastards. People who work in management are three times as likely to be murdered than people in lower paying jobs. I wrote that one after a particularly bad day in work. You can sort of work out the rest. It's been reported that 76% of drug addicts come from strict religious families. Because God is the hardest drug of them all. Cocaine can relieve cold and flu symptoms, but only temporarily. Again, that one's true. I mean, I, well, uh, at least according to a mate of mine. And after that, all I had to do was sit back and relax and wait for them to bite. I made sure to turn notifications on just in case they deleted a tweet. And fuck me do these knobheads tweet a lot. It, it easily drained 50% of my battery every day. And I'd say at least 50% of those tweets were sponsored. 27 things every grown woman should own. A hairbrush. 
really. I thought the best way to a neat and tidy finish would be to put my hair in a blender. What the fuck is that? Right, I, I'm kind of interested. I need to click that. This performance tool deluxe roadside assistance kit that could save your life in an emergency. Well, that's not exactly what I was expecting. Sorry, that's not just for women. I want to know what I gotta get to be a fully grown woman, for fuck's sake. Kind of looks a bit like a serial killer kit, though, doesn't it? You got the gloves, you got the knife, the rope, jump cable, just in case you need to get out some information. The Cronova hot glue gun kit that takes your crafting to the next level. Fucking glue gun. We ain't six anymore. I'm a grown woman who needs to pay her bills, and a fucking glue gun ain't gonna help, is it? I couldn't use a glue gun to fight off a rapist. Well, unless he was really powerful, you could end up like a Spider-Man victim. These wine wipes that keep your pearly white. Pearly wine wipes. For the alcoholics amongst us. <laughs> ah, here we go. This beauty nymph spa home facial steamer sauna that brings the spa to you. I didn't understand a lot of those words, but it does kind of look a bit like a sex toy. It's got the words nymph and facial in it, so I'm pretty sure that confirms I can stick my dick in it. Oh, hang on, this is aimed at women. You could stick it in it. I think I got a little bit distracted there. Should we get back to it? And when I say to it, I mean that is it. Because we failed. We fucked it, boys. Absolutely abysmal. I'm sorry. Now, as team leader, I know it's my duty. i got to take this on the chin. It's my fault. I let the guys down. I let myself down. And most importantly, I let you down. But if we're being honest, we all know it was bad company Sarge. He let the bloody team down. I'm sorry, but it's true. Apologies for the failure. Usually I wouldn't have made the video, but ideas were low, and it's sunny outside, and we only get like four days of sun a year, and we're well overdue some rain. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Who do you think let the team down the most? Maybe you've got a fake fact? You can tweet me, at JTTV, using hashtag uberfacts. That's right, I'm claiming that hashtag for my own. I'm a bastard. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on all the socials, and I'll see you in the next one.